Welcome to Cooking with Chef B. What's up my good people? So today we're gonna to be making some pescatarian vegetarian options. Uh, so we're gonna open our tofu. Oh my God, it's filled with water. <laughs> okay, so I have to put the camera down. So it's filled with water as you guys can see. So we're gonna uh, place this inside of, um, we're gonna place this inside of, um, we're gonna get some paper towel or you can use a towel. This is my first time using uh, tofu. So let's get to it. So as you guys can see, this tofu is filled with water. So you wanna get something something heavy to lay on top of it. So I'm gonna place another uh, paper towel on top and then I'm gonna get something to lay on top of it to squeeze all the water out. Now after you have properly drained your tofu, we're gonna go ahead and cut this into some cubes, just like that. And that is. We're gonna cut this in some cubes. You guys can cut it to your preference. Look how nicely that cut. Slice it down the middle. See? <laughs> Gonna cut it into some nice cubes. Like so. So let's get our bell pepper, our red bell pepper. You guys can use a green one, a yellow, whichever one you prefer to use. I think this uh, red bell, bell pepper went uh, well with the dish. I'm telling you, this dish is so amazing. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut out the core, toss it to the side, and just julienne our red bell peppers. So how many of you guys like using uh, bell peppers in your dishes? Comment below and let me know um, what type of dishes you use your uh, bell peppers for. I pretty much use bell peppers for everything. Like, I really think like it brings out the flavor in the dish and whatnot. So comment below, let me know if you use bell peppers in everything or there are certain dishes that you use your bell peppers in. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Comment below. Let me know that you're watching Cooking with Chef V. So after we're done cutting up our bell peppers, we're going to go ahead and grab us a red onion. Some people may use a white or yellow onion. It's, it's, it's up to you, but this uh, red onion went well with this recipe. I'm telling you, this recipe is going to be so delicious. I want you guys to go ahead and make it and let me know what you think about it. Um, come back and tell me how um, your dish turned out. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed at this dish. So once we done get cutting up our onion, we gonna go ahead and grab some ginger. So off camera, I ended up um, chopping the ginger down a little bit, <laughs> but I placed in the pot like some bigger pieces. So I want you guys to go ahead and mince your uh, ginger. It's, it's way better. But if you like ginger, like I like ginger, then you can keep it um, these sizes that I'm cutting it. If not, go ahead and mince it or whatnot. I'm telling you, uh, this ginger brings a pop of flavor to it, and it's healthy. So, let me know at the let me know in the comment section if you use ginger in your food. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our mushrooms. 
Make sure you guys wash your mushrooms, I believe, and washing all fruits and vegetables. Then we're gonna put our broccoli on to steam it. We're gonna add some cornstarch to our tofu. So what I'm gonna do is instead of using the spatula, I'm gonna go ahead and just give that a little toss. I think it'll be better. I'm losing a few pieces, but hey, who cares? Look at that. <laughs> so go ahead and get your tofu a toss. See, now it's all coated. Now we're gonna get some sesame seed oil so that we can saute our vegetables. Then you're gonna add a teaspoon or a tablespoon of oil. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and saute our red peppers and onions. Now we're gonna add our mushrooms to the party. My God, this smells tastes, this smells delicious. This is a lot. Now let's add in that salad. Look how good this looks. We can just eat this by ourselves. <laughs> then we're going to put our tofu on and go ahead and grab your rice noodles. Then we're going to make our sauce. So we're going to need some soy sauce. We're going to add some sriracha to the party because how many know we need that heat? Okay. Then we're going to put in our ginger right here. You can put your mix, mix, mint ginger in or you can uh, leave it whole like this then you're going to go ahead and add your garlic with your honey i'm telling you this sauce is bang then i add some um some uh chicken broth with it i thought it was delicious to thicken up my sauce i added in some cornstarch so if you guys like this recipe so far won't you go ahead and turn on your notifications click the subscribe button like the video let me know in the comment section that you're watching cooking with chef v this food smells so delicious i can't wait to dig a fork right in it <laughs> I'm telling you guys, this amazing uh, vegetarian, pescatarian dish is going to blow your mind. So I want you guys to share the video with your friends and family and let them know to tune in with Cooking with Chef V. Thank you for watching.